Howdy folks, Ever Johnson, Texas Saltwater Fishing Magazine, coming to you live to talk about our uh, December 2021 issue. And uh, first thing up is, I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about our, our dear friend, Dickie Colburn. Uh, we lost Dickie tragically. He succumbed to injuries from an automobile accident. Uh, Dickie was a, a fine man. Uh, a stalwart uh, member of his church, very loyal to uh, to all of his friends, was a great mentor and a role model to so many people. And, uh, you know, from the fishing side of things, Dickie was legendary in his ability to catch fish on Sabine Lake. And, uh, and we're gonna miss him, uh, just really miss him severely. And, uh, you know, our, our, our best condolences and uh, most heartfelt wishes for healing go out to his family and closest friends. Uh, Dickie, rest in peace, pal. You, uh, your work here is done. And, uh, and now it's our job to live up to the standards that, uh, that you held. And we, uh, we're gonna miss you. So moving on, we wanna talk about <clears throat> The, uh, the uh, trout regulations, spotted sea trout, you know, took a big beating in the, uh, in the February freeze on the middle and lower coast. Upper coast, luckily, uh, fared much, much better. Uh, so Parks and Wildlife have decided, uh, given their spring gill net surveys and, uh, and results of creel surveys along the middle and lower coast, trout need more protection. So uh, the Coastal Fisheries Division uh, went to the commission and, uh, and recommended that uh, they consider a proposal to reenact the three fish bag limit that they had in the, on the lower coast uh, through summer. And uh, they want to expand it up through East Matagorda Bay, basically from FM 457 Bridge at Sargent's, uh, all the way down to uh, South Bay in the Lower Laguna. And uh, the slot limit would be uh, 17 to 23 inches, <clears throat> no oversized fish. And um, this would take effect as soon as the commission would approve it after uh, public scoping, uh, which is part of the normal uh, regulatory process. You got to take it out and talk to the people about it before you do it. And um, if everything goes well in that regard and the uh, commissioners give the green light, then uh, Coastal Fisheries will be enacting that, uh, that new regulation. And it will last from the time, the date that it begins, in the enactment, which could be as early as January 2022, it will run through August 31, 2023. Um, so that will be two full spawning seasons that, uh, that, that more fish would be protected, reserved from harvest. And uh, that could just be the, uh, you know, the, uh, the shot in the arm that the, uh, that the fishery needs to recover from that horrible freeze. So moving on from there, we've got a lot of uh, great content for you this month. And uh, we've got uh, stories dealing with the uh, changeable weather that December offers. But make no mistake, December is a wonderful fishing month. You just have to pick your days correctly. And, uh, and you have to fish according to the conditions. So keep that in mind as you read through the magazine and you plan this month's uh, fishing trips. By all means, uh, take the kids fishing, get out there and enjoy nature. And this is, the, uh, this is the Christmas month. So Merry Christmas to all, Happy New Year, and uh, we'll see you again soon.